art space in Merbro where we have an incredibly quirky, colorful, imaginative, amazing exhibition by the late George Kirk. It's called Let's Play, a George Kirk retrospective. And I'm here with two of his daughters, Jen and Penny. Jen, you must, and Penny, you must be very, very proud to see your father's work collected like this. Mm, it's immensely, yes. It's, it's lovely to see that, um, such a large collection together mm -hmm. and, yeah, in one place. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a bit about the style? Um, I mean, this painting, it's got so much in it and it, it's, so, it's so distinctive. Uh -huh. This piece has developed or evolved over many years. It originally was a pen and ink drawing, which was mm. uh, much smaller than this. Mm -hmm. And Dad um, re revisited this theme over and over. And this guy's called Huey. He was a neighbour and was a very had a lot of um, a dry sense of humour. Yeah. Um, and Dad really appreciated his jokes mm. and. Um, so I just started building the legend in a way of, built, of mm. drawing this man and. Um, and there's a very colourful poem that goes with it. Mm. Yeah. There is, yes. 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 He wrote a rather a long poem, um, mm. yeah, highlighting yeah. some of the funny sayings mm. that Huey and he's had. I mean, he, I mean, he was working until he was 99 years old, wasn't mm. he, in his studio here in Never. Mm. What was he like in his studio? What, what inspired him? What made him creative? Mm. He always what? had music, music going, classical mm. music, yeah. absolutely loved that Nothing loud. loud. <laughs> yeah. The neighbours appreciated yeah. it. They, <laughs> they, they used to enjoy his music too. So yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know what it was. It was yeah. yeah. He, he just liked to see things mm. in depth and look into them yeah. and explore. And he loved it. Like with visit or if any of us used to come there or the ranch, anybody you know that we'd often go and sit down there in the um, <clears throat> studio with him and he tell you all sorts of things about, you know, his latest one or, and he'd even sort of go through colour painting mm -hmm. uh, the paints and mixing it, like with the younger kids sort yeah. of thing, just trying to share, yeah. you know, his knowledge sort of thing, mm -hmm. which is, and I think all yeah. of our kids too, in their own oh, way. Grandchildren yeah, all grand, yeah. an immense yeah. amount. <clears throat> from him and yeah. It wasn't yeah. as though he was trying to dictate or determine anything. No. He would just come and let them look and talk. Yeah. He was very natural about it. Yeah. And yeah. we'd have these sort of little critiquey things and he'd turn paintings upside mm. down and go, okay, you need to be able to make it work from mm. yeah. all sides and mm. all those sorts yeah. of things that he yeah. taught without really yeah. teaching. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. I guess we just left as custodians yes. of all this amazing yes. work mm. and we felt and there's a lot of it too. We, we, uh, mm. we really had to do something yeah. and show the work. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think it's a wonderful thing you've done for your father to, to, to put this mm. retrospective exhibition on. Yes, well, there was no point leaving his work just sitting, no, collecting dust. dust in our mm. houses. No, we'd it, rather. It's to be shared, it's yeah. to be out in the world. Shared and enjoyed yeah. by others, sort of thing. So, yeah. This exhibition runs here at Gallagher's Art Space until April 24th. It is a fantastic experience. I really encourage you to come along and see a very the, the skills of an incredibly unique Australian artist, George Kirk. Please come and enjoy. Please come and enjoy and have a journey. In, yeah, in the, yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> enjoy as much as we have all these years. <laughs>